Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and uh, today I'm going to start my new set of um, videos for 12 science and to it, it is a part one of part of three parts and it's all about the sign of cancer mm -hmm. and what is in the best day to start on the uh, new moon of cancer. So tonight it's very, very important energy. Uh, it's a seed for the whole month to come. And I'm sharing with you right now, Sky, what's happening on the moment of the new moon, which is happening on July 28th at uh, around 7.30, uh, around 7.30 a.m. Eastern time. Now, what's really, really unique about uh, this particular new moon, I'm going to just really five minutes to dedicate and then we will continue. It's important because every time when you talk about certain sign and especially if it's new moon it's such a big manifestation and blessings to connect to the energy of the moon and you can see it's actually in the, um, degree eight to nine and it's actually a very very special degree because it's literally touching the so to say the nourish place of um, sign of cancer and it's a good news because uh, it's really sky helping us and providing us uh, this force of energy, like a channel. We're going to receive energetical force, of uh, so we we can all really can be nourished as well. Because really, cancer it's all about really unconditional love and nourishment. Even though sometimes they can come across too sensitive or even sometimes aggressive in certain situation, they such a quickly forgivers and they really constantly they one of the really only sign who constantly reevaluating and asking himself when they go and sleep at night did they did okay did they did they hurt anyone how could i do better really this is such an amazing quality you should consarians really uh you know hug yourself because it's one of the best things you love to do is to hug people. And no, we need to really understand many times uh, people who get moon in cancer, they usually get in rising in the, war, uh, in the air or fire sign, which is far from sensitivity. And the way how they introduce themselves to outside world, especially to unknown environment, many times it's misleading people because people think they're so strong and they can handle things, but really deep inside, they're soft, like actually cancer in nature, right? So this is really important to remember. So let me share with you a couple images I create for uh, specifically for this part one video. And as well, I do have a surprise for you guys. I want us to, uh, let's see. Yeah, excellent. I have a surprise. I have a seven minutes video at the end of my amazing teacher, one of the greatest Kabbalists of 20th century, Ralph Burke. And he's going to share with us such a tremendous secrets of ancient technology and as well about minds of cancer, what actually it says in Talmud in the uh, in the Sefer Yatsirah. Really, really. And you know, when you hear words directly from Kabbalists, from someone who achieves such a high understanding of of this reality and knew how to completely separate illusion of what's really happening in the upper level. Uh, this type of souls able just with the presence, with the or makif, the surround light they have to heal other people, to enlighten us and to believe in ourselves much more and to awaken inside of us tremendous light. So this is going to be at the end of the video. So what we see here right now, the, you know, Tammuz, um, which is in Hebrew, months of cancer in Aramaic, is the only month uh, sign ruled by moon. Uh, what Kabbalah explains as well, it represents feminine side of uh, creator, Malchut. The moon is associated with Malchut. Malchut, I'm going to show you after as well, and the tree, tree of life reality is the lowest dimension. It's called Malchut. It's the world we all live in. And what's happened, What who else represents Malchut? It's King David, which is really, really important. And, uh, you know, King David, it's one of the best representation of Malchut because he, he didn't have an easy life, but he, the chariot of such an important last point of the final redemption. So we can, uh, we can tune to my next videos a little bit more about it as well. So the moon is also associated, like I said, in Malchut. What is the Malchut? It's the physical world manifestation of the finality, so to say. 
It's about doubt and limitation. It's about uh, it's ulam uh, shaker, the life, the uh, world of life. This is what Kabbalists explain, and it's a symbol of uh, you know a crop, right? And what's really interesting in, about the crop is well, the Hebrew letters that connect to the spiritual spiritual energy of this month. It's letter tough and letter head. And you will really, really need to understand this. This is tremendous, extremely, extremely important because those letters can give us a lot of hint about the energy of the sign of cancer, okay? And um, what is really, what really create tough? Tough create moon and head, which is create the sign of cancer. So tough is the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And you know, as a last, again, like a malchut, like a, the final uh, on the tree of the reality, it generally indicates ending, limitations, and borders, right? And sometimes it's not given us to see the bigger picture. So chet is a very interesting letter. This is the uh, this is the chet, okay? I'm going to show you after head in a little bit different print, so you can actually will be able to separate to see how it's actually made of two different letters. Um, so the head is very interesting letter, like I said, because it is made of combination of two letters, Zion, which is creates sign of Gemini. If you recall on one of my videos, I explained that. And then we have a Vav, which is create sign of Taurus. So can you imagine the sign of cancer contained inside of him on top of his own tikkun, on top of his own work he needs to do, he took actually the energetical work as well of Gemini and of Taurus. So inside the quality of Cancerian, we have the quality of Gemini, which is sometimes they can be intense and they can be very curious and Cancerian, the amazing learners, the amazing historians especially, they all love history because history, it's secure, it's already happened, right? And what is Vav? Vav, first of all, it represents direct connection to the light. It's the center of column energy. And it represents Vav, it represents healing. And it creates a month of Taurus. So just go deep inside. And what is the Taurus? Taurus loves food. Taurus represents early family dynamic. And Cancer, it's all about family, right? The Cancer is represent family, it represents mother womb, and it represents heart. It's not just represent stomach and where actually the baby born, right? As well, it represents the inside of the heart. And you should know, I don't think you can hear this from many sources, but according, according to ancients, the sign of can, can, cancer we used to consider the most important sign. And you will think, how come? Each sign very important? Absolutely. But specifically sign of cancer, consider the royal of the royal of the royal. And look at this, moon. Uh, if uh, some of you knows what is the mitzvot, precepts, we have 613 mitzvot, 613 per precepts. What is the first mitzvah, first uh, precept, the, so to say, di uh, direction was given to us by creator, is the blessings of the new moon. And because the moon is the protector of the earth. And moon as well took upon herself a lot of different negativity in order for us to receive direct light of the sun. And she, the only way for us to see moon, it's only reflection of the sun. This is where, by the way, insecurities comes and lack of belief Then you have enough financial uh, success, no matter how much money a cancerian can have. Many times they always can feel luck. It's not enough because of the lacking of the natural light. It's part of the system. Nothing wrong with that. But you should consider you now on my part uh, two video, I'm going to explain in more depth on Mesopotamia as well, how it's looking in the sky. You're going to enjoy big time. It's such an amazing sign for, uh, especially if you have moon in cancer, then rising and last it's sun. I explain as well why. Okay. So the Zohar teaching us that the three months, the three negative months, uh, which is, you know, in the uh, Kabbalistic terms, no such a thing negative. It's just more challenging months and months with more judgment, which is we have three months. It's months of Tammuz, Cancer, of Leo, and Tibet, Capricorn. And in Kabbalistic astrology, 
in terms, like I said, negative, there's no such a thing. It all depends how much we're going to take this opportunity. This, so to say, the lack of energy. And we know we're going to, we are the one who decide what energy we want to bring to this vessel. You understand? It's really, really important. Um, what else I wanted to tell you, it's very, very important. The physical and spiritual disease of cancer is born actually in months of cancer. Let me repeat again. I really want you to pay attention. It's from the Zohar, the book of splendor. All the secrets of universe, it's actually in the book of Zohar. And it says, this physical and spiritual disease of cancer, which is, you all know, the the uh, you know cells of can cancer we all have can uh, cells of uh, cells inside of us but not each of us will make them activated right it's actually seed of this disease can only happen in the months of cancer months of tamus do you understand how important this month to be super focused no any lack of bigger picture to go to disappearing act or some depression to pick yourself to literally grab yourself by the, uh, if it's necessary, you know, by your hair and take yourself from this knot and you're the only one who can help yourself. And cancer can occur, very, can be very, by the way, excellent in business, in relationship, because it represents basic, uh, you know, physical body. So Zohar explained that before this disease created the antidote, was actually created first. So this is why we always do remember, no matter what's happened to us on the physical level or emotional, we always need to know the solution was created before the problem appeared. This is the true Kabbalistic, Kabbalistic concept. We really, really need to understand that. Now, another thing I want us uh, to, uh, to understand as well about a Cancerian. Uh, Cancerian is the people who truly cares. You can find Cancerian, you know, I'm not here to tell you like a typical explanation of Cancerian, which is you can hear in every other astrological channel. I really want us to go a little bit deep into understand because each of us have a sign of cancer inside of our chart. You know, it's a present fourth house. So you always need to check what you have in the fourth house. And especially those of you guys who have moon and rising and sun in cancer, you can really relate on, on so many different levels. So Cancer represents home. It actually represents as well real estate, how you really feel, because the most successful real estate is the ones who use the intuition and not just the logic. Knowledge extremely important, absolutely. Now, family, extremely important to cancer. And usually, the biggest tikkun is actually many times in, in families, especially with ancestral lineages of mom. Cancerian always have very unique, very unique relationship with mother. And the mothers, most of the time, very karmic mom. Very, she came to teach you lessons on both sides, whatever convenient for you or not convenient. So one of the things for considering, it's really important to establish very healthy and balanced relationship. Now, talking about the balance and to be healthy with giving, considering has a lack of balance, how much they give. They so overgave sometimes then they themselves can realize later on and people can start to turn their back on them because many times cancerians give more than people actually capable to have and have vessel for it this is a very important lesson for cancerians they need to understand they need to learn how to observe first how to be calculative with the emotions because they're excellent calculative with money and business but when it comes to the emotions Many times they can get, you know, I can get if Cancerian, especially, well, Cancerian rising, I'm going to explain, I'm going to uh, put this right now information, this something really, really awesome on, about that. But one thing Cancerians need to remember and need to understand, you cannot put three liters of water in the vessel of 200 grams. So really, really important to understand for a Cancerian, one of your most positive and negative traits, which is all in one, is how much you give. And every time when you give, and there's not many people can actually, especially if your partner can many times give you the emotional stake 
what you really need and looking for. So you you need to, you came to this world as well to observe and to understand the other people a capability, because you Cancerians you you really old souls. You came from so many lifetimes. You've been through so many things. You came to this world already with understanding it's all about love. And but in the same time, because your attachment to Malchut, to uh, all the good stuff of this world, you have an internal conflict. When you make a business, uh, you know, when you're not too emotional, you can be successful. When you use your gut intuition, don't forget cancer. It's one of the most psychic uh, sign especially it depends on the degree you have uh, and what if you have a royal star as well what combination of fixed uh, stars you have which is I'm going to include in my second video so it's really important for you guys to understand now anything I'm saying right now about Cancerian all of us can benefit from it because this Rosh Chodesh and this month in general, we all become uh, in some level uh, sign of cancer because of the influence, the cosmic influence. So it's really important. Now, when you give, I really want to put more more into it. You know, you have so much care. I will give you an example. Let's say you are cancerians in restaurant or even at work environment. Everyone will be quiet. If something not working, or even like uh, something can be improved. Many times people are not going to out of the comfort zone and to go to the boss and say, cancerians will go to the boss. They will make homework at home to make notes. And they come, and not because they want to complain, because they there, not just to come and give what needs to be done, they actually offer themselves. Let's do it. Let's. I'm going to help you. If cancerian didn't like something in service, let's say in restaurant, they're going to go and talk to a manager, usually quietly. They're going to tell him what they didn't like, and they're going to offer the solution, what they think can be done. You understand? So this is the sign. Usually when you have somebody like this in class, especially if you're in high school, you've been bullied by others. Why? Because people don't like when someone trying to show they better, but it's not what Cancerian intention. They're not trying to be better than somebody else they really truly caring and there's no other sign like that guys you need to understand you are the blessings in the sky for this time we have right now the time of final redemption it's not easy for you but guess what you are like a fish in the water here right now you already understand then even right now, people who's doing the businesses, how they interact with each other, if they don't put real care, the business will go away. The only thing will survive. We enter already in time of final redemption. And one of the reasons when um, some astrologers, when they do prediction, I don't do prediction because we came out from the zone of prediction. You understand, guys? There's a potential in the sky, but it's really up to us how we're going to control the sky and how we can to convert everything to our own benefit, which is benefit for the world. The, your own benefit, it's actually the benefits for everyone. How we can, you know, our how we can switch immediately certain situation, not to let it go, not to let it just continue, you know, the case. You need to know how to switch the moment it's happening. And at the same time, how you can pick you up when your mood going down. Special, don't forget, moon change other sign every two and a half days. So for people who are under the influence of this sign, do you know how difficult it is, especially for those who have no spirituality? But those of you who connect to spirituality, you feel, you understand what is the whole dimension. Why we're here in the first place, you understand? You are like a map, like an example for all of us, for the humanity concerns to teach us. It's all about heart. You understand? It's such an amazing sign. Of course, I'm going to, again, touch up on things like, you know, Cancerian, actually, they can be suddenly aggressive. And what I mean by that, uh, their aggressivity comes from such a care and pain then sometimes the way how they can express express themselves when they have not happy and when they they really feel emotional you can feel the energy it's getting inside of you this is how it's like a huge energy you carry inside of you and 
again, we need to pay attention on the body parts, which is the chest, because it's can it's a heart, the inside, the internal organs of the heart, breast, which what is the breast? It's all about nourishment. It's all about the is the first food baby can have after being nourished inside of the mother womb, right? Very important. Then it's stomach. What is the stomach? There's nothing more important than our digestive system in a sense of our health, the way how we think, the way how we focus, what we eat. It's extremely important. This is determined as well many times our mood, our reactive system. And the stomach is the gut feeling, right? You know, when you say the gut feeling, the gut feeling more important than your sentence with your mind, with your brain. First gut feelings, and then it's going through the heart and it's going through the brain. Right, and then we have uh, uh, diag uh, diagrams, right? So, we, which is really, really important as well because it's uh, it's so to say the meridian of the body on a physical level, right? Very important with regards to herbs. It's really, really important for considering to clean the home they live and always use the sage and as well to drink the sage. It's connect to the uh, energetical force of moon because moon uh, connect with the sage. Aloe, very important because it's alkaline and it's clean and antiseptic. Lemon palm, very, very good. And it's very light smell because usually cancerians, they do not like heavy smell. The bay, uh, bay leaf and uh, parsley, really good. So those, those particular herbs, according to ancient technology, it's really, really good for you guys. So the next one, I want to show you where uh, your sign appear in Anna in Anna Bukov. Let me see over here. Now, I don't know if you're familiar, but I'm working on a video to teach you this most important uh, meditation we do before we even leave our home. It's called Anna Bukov. It's connected seven dimensions from the tree of life reality. But I'm going to show you where the line connect to the sign of cancer is the last line, it's which is connect to Malchut. Let me show you over here. And uh, this line is extremely important line. It's the uh, it's the last line of the such an important pr prayer, which is, you know, manifestation and it's uh, absorb all the other energies of other seven um, spherot, seven illumination. And the way how it's signed, uh, the last line, it's Shavateinu Kabel Ushma Tsakteinu Yudeya Talamot. And it's, uh, it's all about the gain the power of renewal and restoration, right? Because this is the power which is really giving us to be more present in this dimension, dimension of Malchut. And just show you again, guys, I promise you to show you the letter. Uh, these are the letters, right? You see uh, the head and top. So the head, which is to create the cancer, you see it's made with letter Vav. Vav represents central column energy, and it's uh, this letter create a sign of Taurus, and it's sign of healing. Remember, it's uh, it's one of the most important months where we can can pay off as well how we connect to uh, real healing within us, and then we have letter Zion, which is uh, create uh, months of uh, Gemini. By the way, you can see it over here, Gemini. And what's really really important? Don't forget the Gemini is the only sign which is represent two people. It's another sign. Uh, it's out of this world. I'm going to make another video of so many secrets about the sign. But let's really understand the sign of cancer because we need to understand why this disease right now, number one killer really after heart disease, by the way. The heart disease, it's one of the biggest killer as well. But in, we, we need to ask ourselves why, which is cancer connected to the heart as well. You understand how powerful? So if we know how to meditate on those letters, especially tonight and every day, guys, whatever you feel. And if you know anyone who really struggling right now, especially with cancer or even any emotional struggles, you always can send this energy by closing your eyes and by uh, creating these letters inside of the bowl, like a uh, sun inside. And you can put and you actually can scale, scan all your body with these letters. It's super, super healing. And you will connect to energetical force to the DNA of moon and DNA of months of cancer. How cool it is, right? <laughs> this you cannot ask more. So um just to just to add a little bit little bit more about uh, cancer. Uh let me just come back over here. Just for us to really to appreciate 
who we are and to appreciate why we came, why in the first place our soul choose to come back to this dimension under this type of sign so it's not coincidence beyond uh, we only can get certain sign according on the level of growth of previous lifetimes whatever and this exactly was missing for you cancerians to complete your tikkun process your correction your, your incarnation by controlling the sign of zodiacs where you receive in your natal chart this is why it's extremely important to to have a good astrological reading to understand to get familiar with dna of your chart dna of your soul and to know how to communicate with so many personalities you have inside of you all of us instead to go and uh, look for uh, help from completely wrong place you are the one first your own healer we need to remember that and this is really it's a lot of power given to us right and because, you know, a cancer represent uh, roots, heritage, uh, you know, heritage lineal, lineage, right? And especially mother ancestor lineage. For you guys, if you, for example, especially ladies, if you light candle, especially if you light candle on Shab for Shabbat on Friday night, it's recommended to close your eyes and imagine over 27 generation of your ancestral lineages uh, standing behind you and supporting you, standing with you while you give prayer. And every time, by the way, when you study spirituality or you feel you overcame something, then you've really been working for so long and finally you feel uh, liberation. You really understood things about yourself in about certain reputation, uh, repetition of certain situation. And when you work, you always can close your eyes and think about ancestor lineages why because your ancestor lineage one of the main reasons in the physical body you're here the way you are every cells of your body your nails your features in your face it's your grandparents it's your grand grandparents it's all those amazing people who went through so much so much struggle in order for you to receive the ticket to be here on the time of final redemption so think always before you complain Think always before you put yourself down how happy you were in the upper level when you finally got this ticket and you gave the all the script on top of your own work you need to do. You get all the 27 generations of ancestral lineages came with you. Each of them asked you to do something and overcome. It's really important. So every time when you're going through a difficult time and you don't understand why you behave certain way, why you react, always remember, it's not just you. You have an army of uh, souls standing behind you and waiting for your liberation, for your transformation, for you to finally to claim the God DNA of God inside of you. You understand how powerful? So astrology is not here for us to, to manipulate our mind and just to have a nice conversation. Astrology, astrological tools, it's such a practical tools, which is, can help us to completely get ourselves to to the new level who we really are. Okay? So, okay, guys, as I promise you, uh, we're going to end this video with my amazing teacher, Laura Burke. She's going to explain in more depth what Kabbalistic, um, Kabbalistic explanation uh, from uh, different sources about months of cancer. And uh, I wish you many blessings. And I hope this information can help you to improve your life and to improve the life of other people who interact with you and they can get better understanding what is really to be spiritual being what is really um to be sharing being you are the really the best representative of it and as well to know for you how to uh, distribute your energy proper way in balanced way okay so let's begin the feel and accept the idea that somehow the month of Tammuz is a month that reflects tragedy. I'd like to even begin by quoting the uh, Talmud in tract a Tanit, in which it says, Five events took place during the month of Tammuz, specifically Yeshiva Asa, the Tammuz, in the 17th day of Tammuz. 
And the Mishnah continues, what happened? The Shivasa of Tammuz, and in the 17th day of Tammuz, the Shnabruha Vukot. The scroll that Moses had brought down from Mount Sinai was destroyed. Vatel Hatamid, Vukkaat, Ha'ir, Vesarap, Apustamus, et a Torah, Vehemit Shalom, Echal. Two temples, the surrounding wall of the two temples, were pierced by the enemy. That day, the sacrifice ceased to exist. Also on the 17th day of Tammuz. In other words, the possibility of cleansing the atmosphere from negativity no longer was available. And then on that day, one of the generals of the enemy, Apostomus, brought in what idol worship idol worshiping into the temple. Five events. Why not six? Why not four? But obviously, in Kabbalah, when something of, of this very significant nature takes place, we've got to pay more attention to just saying, well, it just happened. If the Talmud and the Zohar stresses the month of Talmud, these five events, the first, the first thought that should come to anyone who has learned Kabbalah is the number five. It's so simple. Five is a total entity. Ketachach Mabina, Zerabin Malchut. That's a total entity. A total complete body of energy. Wherever it's located, whatever the significance, whatever the implication, if it's five, it's total. Know that there is something significant in the month of Tammuz. There's a totality of an entity here in this month that is known as destruction that exists in this month. The seed for chaos is planted because, as we have learned in Kabbalah, Satan must have been given the opportunity to ply his trade. That's free will. If there was no Satan, and all there was was just God consciousness, who would steal? Who would be evil? What's the choice to be made, whether to steal or not? If I need money, I don't have no bread on the table, why not go out and steal a loaf of bread? Where would that idea come from if there was no idea of Satan? Nobody would steal. Nobody would kill. There would be no evil in the world. So for the purpose of free will, for earning, removing the bread of shame, Satan consciousness inevitably must exist. For the purpose of our growth, if it wasn't there, there would be no growth. There would be no removal of the bread of shame. This is the month. Why this month? Why this month? Says the Yadi. Now learn. Tammuz comes from the word Tam Bab Zion. Because there will always be a balance. While at the same time, while at the same time, this month contains the planting of Satan consciousness, of chaos, and therefore, why did both destructions take place in this month? I mean, what a coincidence. Not a coincidence. These were inevitable results of Satan. Inevitable results. This was as you plant the seed, so will be the tree. However, the Bab and the Zion is transferred over into their united. You notice the head. You see a Bab and a Zion. That's why the head, according to the Ari, 
is written that way because these two letters are the letters that govern the month of Tammuz. Why these two letters? To assist us in combating chaos and disorder. God, give us a break. There's so much of that around. Can't you sometimes give us a little light? And the answer is God gives you light every moment of the day. He's only asking, please, subscribe to it. Take it. Make use of it. Remember, we are discussing not the nobility of, of making a better world. Because a better world will never come about without the assistance of better individuals. Each individual will make that totality of a better world. But you first begin with the individual. The secret, the secret of ending all chaos is restriction. Be satisfied what you got. Understanding that maybe I haven't got right now because I'm cleaning out for prior lifestyle. 